Okay, so I have three examples that I'm going to simplify or solve for um, to demonstrate the use of the power sums and the linearity of summations. And here are those blown up just in case you can't see them. That's the linearity of summations, um, the power sums. Here we go. Okay, so for this first one, uh, we start at 1 and it goes to 20. Um, I have a plus sign right here, so I can actually split this up. We can write it as k equals 1 to 20, 2k plus uh, k equals 1 of 1, and that's 20 times. Now because this one's a constant, we can use uh, this linearity truth right here. Uh, if k is a constant, then you just have to go n times the k. Our n in this case is 20. So we're going to say plus 20 times 1. Uh, now this one right here, uh, we have a 2 multiplying to the k. That's a constant. So I could take that 2 out. So I'm going to cross him out right there and put him in front. He's going to multiply to our whatever our result is. And now I have k, just a variable, raised to the 1 power. There is no power on that one, but it definitely looks like this. So we can use um, either this formula or this formula. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one, the second one, and we'll see what happens here. We have 2 times n squared divided by 2 plus n divided by 2. And if I distribute this 2, I'm going to get n squared plus n, and then I have plus 20. Uh, now we know what n is. Uh, n is 20, so I'm going to put 20 squared right here, plus 20, plus 20, that's going to be 400, plus 40, equals 440. So, using manipulation and our power sums, uh, we can find out the sum total without having to actually do all the calculations, or do, like, find each term and add them together. All right, this next one, we have a minus, and there's a 2 right there. So I'm going to take, I'm going to factor that two, negative 2 out of this at the same time as splitting this up. So I'm going to have the summation as L, uh, L equals 1, and we're going to 10. This first one's going to be L to the third. And we're going to have a minus 2, summation L equals 1, raised to 10, L to the second power. So I factored out the negative 2, and I ended up writing the summations twice, so I can split this up. This has a formula, and this one right here has a formula in our power sums. And so let's see what that looks like. We have L to the third, which is, uh, let's, I'm, I'm going to use this formula this time, just to see if it makes our job a little easier. We have, see, n equals third, or 10 right now, so I'm going to put 10 raised to the second power, 10 plus 1 raised to the second power all over 4 and then minus 2 times whatever formula I get for this one again n equals 10 so let's plug in 10 as we do this this one's going to be 10 times 10 plus 1 times 2 times 10 and then we're going to add 1 to that all over 6 uh, the 2 is going to cancel out the 6. The 6 could become a 3. Alright, let's simplify stuff. Let's see, we got 11 right here. 11 squared and 10 squared. So we have 100 times 110. Or I'm sorry, 121 divided by 4. Now we're going to subtract all this craziness. See, it's just going to be 10. And that's going to be times 11. And that's going to be times, that's 21. So let's see here. What do we get when we do that? That's 2,310. And we got to divide that by 3. And it looks like we left out. We get 770. Um, let's uh, go ahead and simplify this really quick. That's 100 times 121 divided by 4. And that equals 3,025. Wow. Definitely running out of space right here. Let's see, let's go 3,025, and we're going to subtract from that 770. And now I got 2,250.
55. So that would be our answer for that one. All right, so I gotta clear my screen so I can uh, do this last one right here. This one is a little bit more fun because J is starting at 21 and not at one. So that means we're gonna have to do a little bit of work so that we can use our power sums. All right, so the last one there, we already did these ones. Let's see. Okay, so um, let's think about this for a second. If we're going from counting from 21 to 30, that means we're going to have 10 numbers that we're adding together. Um, like, you know, whatever, let's see, it would be 21 raised to the second power plus 22 raised to the second power plus 23 raised to the second power plus dot 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 all the way till plus uh, 29 raised to the second power plus 30 raised to the second power. And if I had enough space here, which I could have, I could have written it over there, but there there would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There would be 10 numbers uh, starting at 21. Um, but we need to start at 1 so that we can use a power sum. Um, so let's, uh, let's do that. Um, let's see if we can make this start at 1. If we make it start at 1, j equals 1, and we go to 30, we're actually going to have many more numbers. We're going to have from 1 to 30, that's going to be 30 numbers, but we should only have 20. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract from this. All the numbers before 21 that we don't want to include in our an in our final answer. So here, think of it this way: um, the number right before this one would be 20 squared, and the number right before this one would be 21. I'm sorry, 19 squared, so on and so forth. And you know, then it'd be 18, 17, all the way down. Well, these red numbers all the way down to one squared is going to be included if we have j equals one in this one. But we don't want to include those numbers. We want to take these numbers out. So uh, for this other summation right here, we're going to say j starts at 1, but it's going to end at 20. That's this number right here. Um, so this second part takes away all the extra numbers that we don't want. But now we can use, since this is j to the second power, we can use this formula right here to simplify. So this one right here, uh, we're going to plug in 30 to the formula, to the power sum, and this one right here, you're going to plug in 20. So let me go ahead and write that out. Boom. I just wrote it all out. And this one right here, make sure you put parentheses around it because we're subtracting all of this. So we're subtracting all of this. And you got to make sure you distribute that negative correctly. Um, but uh, I'm not going to distribute the negative. I'm going to simplify everything that's inside right there. And then uh, we'll do our final subtraction right here at the end. So let me go plug these into my calculator. So for the first part, I got 9,455. And the second part, I got 8,203 and one third. So to subtract these, let's see what I get. Well, if I ignore the fraction, I would get. 1,252, but then if I subtract one third from that, I would take out that two, make it a one, and have two over three. So that is actually that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that we would add a bunch of whole numbers because we would get whole numbers when we square. We're not going to get a fraction, and we get this. Um, we did some. I did something wrong. Um, here, let's, let me uh, do this part longhand. Okay, here we go. Uh, I raised 20 to the third power, got 8,000. What I did is I forgot to divide by 3. Um, when I divide by 3, I get another fraction right here. And that added with this one gets rid of the fraction. So um, I this one simplifies. This one gives us 200. Um, if I add the 8,000 and the 10... I'm going to get 8,010 divided by 3. And my guess is, is that works out.
perfectly. So here, let's see, plus 200. Let me go ahead and plug 8,010 divided by 3 into my calculator. Whew, and it worked. I was scared if it didn't work. It means I made another mistake somewhere else. So I add those, I get 278. All right, so I got to subtract that from 9,455. And then I get my answer, 9,455. And I'm subtracting that. My answer, what is it going to be? I get 6,785. Sweet.